Hello, and today we are going to install Bliss OS on a Surface Book using the IPTS kernel. The method will still apply for other machines other than Surface devices, but I wanted to at least get this started so you guys had something to run off of. So, uh, to start, we will need to go to blissroms.com. And go to the download now section um, go ahead and select download and we're gonna move to Pi x86 don't know if you can see that Let me get the autofocus in here right and that'll take you to our source forge page where you could grab the latest and greatest um, I am going to be flashing the 4.9 IPTS kernel here um, but you can go ahead and grab the latest 5.0 kernel uh, or 4.19 or 4.20 for newer devices. Or if you have an older device, you could stick with the kernel 4.9. Um, that'll boot on most older devices. So I've already downloaded, and we're going to save some time by going right to that. Uh, I have it in my downloads folder right here. So, we're going to launch Rufus. I'm using Rufus 3.3. Don't know if you can see anything. Hold on one sec. So, um... In Rufus, we're going to select there. Now that I've turned down the brightness on this, um, in Rufus, we're going to go ahead and select uh, our ISO. So, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm using the 4.9 IPTS kernel for my Surface device. We're going to select Open. Um, make sure you have your correct device plugged into your drive and selected. You do not want to do this to your hard drive. And then once we're all set, uh, volume label should populate properly. And we want to make sure it's all default, FAT32, BIOS, uh, or UEFI mode, and partition scheme is MBR. So we're going to start, write the ISO and let it do its thing. Uh, this will take about three to five minutes depending on your machine speed. So as soon as that's done, I will be right back. Yeah, almost there. It's getting there kind of quickly. And we're getting to the last stage now. And there we go. So now that that's finished, we will close this and reboot our machine. Now on Win Surface Books, we have to hold the volume down button to boot with USB or secondary boot. So I'll be holding down the volume down whenever it restarts. I do have secure boot uh, disabled. So from here, we select installation. Let it boot up into the installer. And we are going to select our Windows partition. We will not format. And we do want to install EFI Grub 2. And we do 
want to install the system directory as read write as well. So let that go through. It's almost there. And it's going to ask you if this is your first install, if you want to create a data image, we will select yes. And for demo purposes, we're just going to make it 9,000. That's almost nine gigabytes. Once that's done, we will select reboot and take out the USB drive. Hold volume up again, or volume down. And now we get our Bliss boot menu. From, well, from Android x86. We're gonna select old mod probe mode for Surface devices. Let it start to boot. Center that a bit better for you guys. There we go. First boot should take just a few minutes longer than every other boot after this, but um, it goes pretty smoothly for the most part. After a few minutes, you will get the bliss sign, and then it'll launch to the desktop. Uh, for demo purposes, because there are a few issues with the nav bar, we're going to select Quick Step as our launcher. And now you have your Bliss desktop.